Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will share with you some speaking myths that hold a person back from speaking. And I've found that there are five myths. So let's look at them and see if you're guilty of any of these five. Myth number one is that canned speeches are good. What's a canned speech, you ask? Well, a canned speech is a speech that is so well scripted, so well rehearsed. If I have to listen to your speech a few times, I'll know exactly when you're going to stamp your foot, punch the air, or say a certain word with a certain type of inflection or tone because it's that well rehearsed. Well, what's wrong with that, you ask? Well, you're not a robot. And the whole days of you rehearsing a speech to that extent is over. And if you listen to me in an earlier lecture, I said that your role as a speaker is to be authentic. And you can only be authentic if you're yourself. So there is no such thing as a canned speech. And if you want, you might want to write this down. Your role is to be a natural speaker, someone who's authentic, someone who comes across as relatable and conversational. Full stop. Myth number two is a very common myth. And this myth says that you need to be perfect. You see, I often meet people who would love to speak, but they don't want to speak. They hold themselves back because they feel they haven't got enough experience and so they're not perfect. And I say to them, if you're going to be waiting for perfection, you're going to be waiting a very long time. So you might want to write this down. There is no such thing as perfection. There is such a thing as starting. So don't aim for perfection, just start. And as you build every presentation, your skill of speaking grows. You just have to trust the process. Let's look at myth number three. Myth number three simply says that you feel like you want to know it all. So you hold yourself back from speaking because you believe that if you get asked a question and you don't know the answer, then that embarrassment takes your confidence away from speaking again. And again, I've got a simple answer for you. You don't need to know it all. When you are speaking for the first time, tell your audience that this is your area of expertise. And if you feel that you're gonna be asked a question that you might not be able to answer, then bring some other people along with your panel so that during the Q&A that they could cover those areas that you may not be comfortable with. And again, as your experience with speaking grows, then your knowledge of those other areas also grows with it. So you don't need to know it all. Just start speaking on your area of specialism. Myth number four, oh, this is a common one. These are people who walk around saying, I can win a speech. Again, what does this mean? They don't practice, they don't prepare, they don't rehearse. They believe that because they have spoken about this topic a few times or they know this topic so well that they can get in front of an audience and just start speaking. Now, they might have the confidence to speak and undoubtedly they might definitely know their subject. But I know when I see these wingers on stage, usually they tend to repeat themselves. They have a lot of unstructured content in this speech. They're saying things in the same way in different parts of their speech. And usually they are over their time limit or they're under their time limit. And for me, speaking is a privilege. And when you are getting in front of an audience, you need to respect that privilege. And by respecting that privilege, it means you need to practice, prepare, and rehearse to use your time most effectively. So I don't believe in winging speeches. I do believe in respecting the platform and the opportunity of speaking and to deliver to your audience in a way that gives them their maximum benefit. The last myth in this lecture is this ability to think that it's even possible to talk about 50 pages of a report in 10 minutes. But this is just impossible. I've seen people try to get through every bit of content of a very detailed report in a very short space of time, whether it's 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And it's just not possible. So I need to teach you a way of bringing out the salient parts of that report 
in a short time space. Those are the five myths. What I'd like you to do is to do a bit of self-reflection before you go to the next lecture and figure out for yourself which one of these five myths you are guilty of. Write that down because we're now going to move on to some target setting for yourself. I'll see you in the next lecture.